This is one of those videos that I'll never succeed because <laughs> if we're drunk and it's late at night. This video is going to be a huge success on YouTube. <laughs> ben, there's an ugly bug. That's not a cockroach. What is it? Ah! It squished like a cockroach. How do you know it wasn't a cockroach? I'm an entomologist. You know what? That was very manly of you. You're not usually that manly. Usually you're like, I need to get a paper towel and 16 other things. So last night we got back from the beach and there was a cockroach in our cockpit. This happens, they fly. It's disgusting. So Ben whacked it with his shoe last night. And the thing is still moving this morning. Check this out. It is outrageous. Look at it go. It's playing dead now. There he goes. Ugh. Ugh. Mornings, it's just gray. And this is what you get. Thunder, lightning, wind shifts, driving rain. <laughs> we are working on our second, second, that's two, bucket of water this morning not very nice out. There's been a lot of thunder, a lot of lightning, and a lot of rain. Ick. First time ever, I think I found a cone shell that's alive. The thing about cone shells is you're not meant to like touch them because they're super poisonous, like kind of like dye poisonous. I don't know where the heck it went. Now I've lost it, but I'm kind of like super curious. I got to poke at it and hopefully not get poisoned. When some cone snails go hunting, they like to burrow into the sand and wait. When a meal happens by, the cone snail fires its harpoon. Poisons quickly paralyze the fish. So I gotta find the little guy. Hang on, because it would be very bad. It was somewhere around here. Oh, there he is. Totally, it is one. Look at it. Here's a stinger thing coming out. Okay. So these guys are alive. And normally, like they say, be careful collecting cone shells here because you shouldn't pick one up underwater, especially because if it's alive, it could kill you. Deadliest known nerve poison. Death is swift. Both of them are alive. Craziness. See, and there's their little pointer thing coming out. They'll come out now. But I've been picking them up all over this beach here today, and I was like looking at these guys, and then all of a sudden I saw them moving. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of freaky. You don't even want to step on them. Like, yeah, sheesh kebabs. Be a little more careful here. We are planning on moving today to another island, which is actually way down there. You can't see it, but we're just about to pull anchor and check this out. Right down here, I think there's a bunch of squid swimming at our anchor. It's really weird. Push down there. I'll have to have a closer look with the GoPro. Okay, Ben's gonna check out the squiddies, but they're they're swimming away, Ben. They're swimming away. Things when you chase squids. I chased them away, they're gone. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. The whole family is like 10 of them. Oh. And there's bigger ones and little ones. Oh. No. 
squid were family orientated. So exciting. So come back. We're gonna we're gonna hide out and stuff though. Just now, when it went down. What's going on, Ash? We're going whale watching today. I'm pretty excited. I've been wanting to do this since we arrived in uh, Tonga, because you can swim with the whales here. So hopefully we haven't waited too long. And there's still whales here, because apparently they start to leave boat now. Stoked! This is gonna be rad gonna and be totally freaking awesome. They make weird noises out their nose. It's like an elephant underwater. These guys are 40 tons and they can fly out of the water at 20 kilometers an hour. 20 kilometers an hour? No freaking way!
Thank mm-hmm. you.